what about a letter? What about a letter that arrives in your house on Shabbos? Now, we're not talking about all the ancillary problems with letters coming from outside the Tchum, and you have to take it out of your mailbox, and then you have to rip it over. Let's say somehow the letter just arrived magically on Shabbos. Are you allowed to read the letter? You don't know what's in it. Are you allowed to read the letter? Uh, or do we say that, again, you have this problem of Shitre Hed Yototo. I let you read the letter, so then you'll read something else, you read something else, you'll get to Shitre Hed Yotot. The Shulchan Aruch says, the Shulchan Aruch says that it's mutter to read a letter that arrived on Shabbos with the proviso that you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. You read this letter, it's important not to read it too carefully, but just to like sort of look it over. So on that basis, if the if he has a letter that he has already read, that he's read in the past, and he knows what's in it, then you can't read it on Shabbos. If he thinks that the letter has something in it that is important for his welfare or well-being, then again, it's mutter to read it. In other words, we have to sort of balance between the problem of Shitre Hed Yotot and the particular need that you might have to read, to read the letter. What about reading a newspaper? Well, and now I'm talking about, I'm not talking about whether it's good to read a newspaper, it's not good to read a newspaper, then everybody has to decide on their own. But if I have a newspaper, is there a problem of Shitre Hed Yotot? Do I say if a person is going to read the newspaper, so then he'll probably end up reading other things as well that the Chachom don't want you to read. So the Mishnah Brewer makes the following comment. He says, many, many of the latter authorities said it's forbidden to read newspapers on Shabbos because the newspapers include, uh, um, include information about business matters. And information about business matters is Shitre Hed Yotot. Those are the kinds of things that you're not supposed to, not supposed to be involved with on Shabbos. Um, on, on Shabbat, uh, so that the newspaper, the newspaper presents a particular kind of an issue. Now today, it's very often true that newspapers are, are, are printed in sections. There's the news section and there's the business section, so it's possible to separate them and not read the business section on Shabbat, but to read the Shabbat section on Shabbat. And that would certainly be, would be all right, but it's important it's important in education to be able to make sure that everybody understands that reading the business section of a newspaper may be problematic, and you wouldn't want to do that, Mishum, Mishum Shitrei Hedyotot.